Hello book fans, welcome to the book review blitz, B-L-I-T-Z. <laughs> so today we're going to be having a book review done by my Cuddles. It's going to be on two different books on the Nocturnal series. Cuddles, you want to tell what the first book we're doing is? Mm -hmm. It's the Chestnut Challenge. Okay, so what's the fox's name? Dawn. What's the pangolin's name? Um, Tobin. Cool. What's the sugar glider's name? Bismar. What game were they all playing? Chestnut Checkers. Oh, and who won the first round? Tobin. Oh, was Tobin a good loser, a good winner, or a bad winner? Good winner. Was, what was the sugar glider's name again? Um, Bismarck? Yeah. Was Bismarck a good loser or a sore loser? Sore. He was. The, a chinchilla, a chinchilla named Chandler came. Oh. And the chinchilla named Chandler, who did he challenge? Tobin. Oh. Did Tobin want a challenge or did he just want to play for fun? He wanted to play play for fun. Uh, what did the chinchilla do when he was losing? Mm, he cheated. He did. How many times did he cheat? Two. Oh, so after he cheated, did the nocturnal friends stop being friends with him? No. What happened? Um they forgived him mm, they forgave him they forgave him yep was it a good book or a bad book a good book out of 10 stars how many stars would you give this book five five out of 10 stars mm -hmm. you know five's kind of low 11 <laughs> okay and it could anybody read this book or only some people could read this book? Um, uh, every second grader and third grader, pre preschooler, kindergartner, first grader. So everybody could read it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And, um, <laughs> what lesson did you learn from it? That we should forgive. Mm hmm. We should forgive one another. Even if your friend's cheating? Mm hmm. Even if your friend's a sore loser? Um, uh, yeah. Cool. And what about when we play games with our friends? Should it be a challenge or should it be just for fun? Just for fun. Awesome. Okay, the next book for review by my son is this, another book in the Nocturnal series. Cuddles, you want to tell everybody what it is? Yeah. It's the Kooky Kinkajou. Okay, and it was written by Tracy Height. And illustrated by Josie. It um, uh, Josie E. That's right. And we met Josie E at Book Expo. And she signed one of the copies. So, what is the fox's name? Dawn. What is the pangolin's name? Um, Tobin. Good job. What is the sugar glider's name? Bismarck. Good job. What is the new girl's name? Karina. Good job. Okay. So, was Bismarck having fun or was he bored? B bored. Was Tobin trying to get him to have fun? Mm, yeah. What game did Tobin tell Bismarck to play at the beginning? He, she, he told him to look at the twinkling sky. Yeah, and to pick animals out from what he could see. Did Bismarck want to do that? No. 
What was the first animal Tobin saw in the sky? Um, an elephant. That's right. What happened when Karina came? Um, she looked at, uh, Bismarck looked at Karina and Karina looked at Tobin. That's right, she was chasing a... Um, uh, Sparkle, Sparkle Sprite Spectacular. <laughs> That's right. And she was using her imagination. What was one of the three things she imagined? Um, a river, a, a, a waterfall, a river, a waterfall, and a rainbow. Oh, you gave us all three. Cool. So, did Bismarck keep being bitter, or did he decide to play along too? He decided to play along too. And did they all have fun? Yeah. What is the lesson from the story? That we should join friends. That's right. And is it okay to imagine, or is it bad to imagine? Okay. Good job. Do you want to hold the book back up again? Hmm. <laughs> well, um, can I say the? Can you say welcome to a book review? Let's B L I T Z. We said that at the beginning of the video, but what you can do is, so we received these books for free for the purpose of review, and we also received some. We also received some paperwork to go along with it. Some fun activities. Cuddles, you want to pick up the paperwork to show everyone? Okay. So these are some fun activities that we're going to do later. You want to unfold this so people can see it? Mm-hmm. So this is kind of just some informational stuff that will send to us about it. So let's use this for ages five to seven, but even eight years old too, because it says it's for third graders as well. And then do you want to show the second set of papers or set of papers? Yep, that one. Okay, so there's like different things um, on it where you can write. There's also a coloring sheet. So it really does help kids to, to kind of zero in on it. And if you look, it says hero or villain. It also says appearance, it says hero, villain. And so it kind of held it up, cuddles. See, hero, villain, appearance. So it kind of helps kids kind of differentiate between how it is they feel a character was as opposed to what the character actually was. And I guess since it's a children's book, it could be what they feel it is instead of what the writer thought was. Or Basically, it was really good because it helps kids to be able to say even though someone's done a bad thing, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a bad person. So if I do a bad thing, that doesn't exactly make me a bad person. What matters is whether or not I'm willing to change my ways from doing bad things. So did you enjoy the series, Cuddles? Yes. All right, what do you want to tell all the readers at home? That you should read this. Especially you have to point it at the camera because they can't see it over there. This. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. You want to say bye, bookends? Bye, bookends.